Welcome to Tech News Briefing. It's Monday, June 26th. I'm Julie Chang for The Wall Street Journal, filling in for Zoe Thomas. Banks are required to screen their transactions for potentially suspicious activity. And if you think about how many transactions are happening all the time, that's a lot to sift through. This created a market for anti-money laundering products. Those typically require a human to manually input certain rules for the program to flag, like deposits of more than $10,000. But that can lead to flagging either too much or too little activity. Now, Google Cloud says it has a better solution. Alphabet's cloud business has launched a new tool that gets rid of those human-inputted rules and that the company says is more accurate. WSJ reporter Dylan Tokar has been looking into this, and he joins me now. Dylan, start us off by telling us more about the anti-money laundering program market. So there are a lot of these AML transaction monitoring or you know, sometimes they're called surveillance programs on the market already. It's basically sort of a prerequisite for a financial institution to have something like this. And the basic problem that financial institutions are trying to solve for with these types of products is they are required by their regulators to screen activity, transactions, customers that do business with the bank and make sure that nothing suspicious or criminal is going on. Products like what Google Cloud is releasing here have been used by financial institutions for years. And most of them, or if not all of them, claim to use artificial intelligence in some form or fashion. So what is Google trying to do here? Google is, Google Cloud really, is trying to sort of differentiate itself by getting rid of what is called manually defined rules or rule-based programming. Uh, So what that means is that, you know, most of these programs that are on the market already, they have some sort of basic human parameters or rules that are inputted into the system by the banks that are using them in terms of what types of things it should look for. Google Cloud basically is saying the AML process, the process of looking for risky transactions and the data that banks hold that they have to sift through in order to find these sorts of things has just gotten so complex. These manual rules, this kind of human input is just way too clunky. So if you design a rule, even if it's really specific, it's just going to kick up a lot of alerts. And I mean, the the basic problem is just this problem of false positives and every false positive, every alert that's kicked up by one of these systems should be investigated or looked into by a human. So, you know, what Google Cloud is trying to do here is they're trying to say, we're going to limit the amount of human input into this, and it's just going to reduce the number of alerts. And the machine learning is going to figure out what needs to be investigated. And those are going to be just more accurate altogether. And you're going to deal with less quote unquote noise. How does Google Cloud's tool differ, though, if others are also touting AI in their products? So it's really the process is different. Google Cloud would argue that their machine learning models or algorithms are just stronger than what's out there already. But really what kind of differentiates it is how they are deploying the AI in this situation. Typically what's done is there are rules-based inputs or manually defined rules that are put into the system, into the tool when it's set up. And then the AI is then used to sift through or basically kind of manage the number of alerts that gets kicked up. What Google Cloud is doing here is saying, forget the manually inputted rules. We're going to train this API and our machine learning model off of three years of your existing transaction alert data. And then this model is going to basically start telling you what you need to look at. So really what's happening here is the artificial intelligence is getting utilized earlier in the process, as opposed to at the end when the problem has already been created. And what has the response to this tool been so far? So far, Google Cloud, they have a limited number of clients that they've told us about. The big one is HSBC, and and they really developed this tool in partnership with HSBC. HSBC was a pre-existing user of their cloud-based services. And HSBC was, you know, had different types of AML 
screening software. And as you know, if you look back, has had a number of sort of regulatory issues around anti-money laundering and financial crimes going back a number of years and was really looking to try to improve their systems. And according to HSBC, what they developed in partnership with Google Cloud has been really successful. They've seen a 60% reduction in these false positives. And even more than that, they've seen a two to four times increase in what's called true positives. So, so far the reaction to this launch has been really positive. You know, it'll be very interesting to see whether this is adopted and how successful it ultimately is. The problem of trying to screen hundreds, thousands, billions of transactions, HSBC uh, says that they have to screen 1.2 billion transactions per month. And also, you know, how regulators react to it, right? One thing that's kind of interesting here is that there's a bit of a risk involved. If you hand over the decision around what you need to look at, what is a risky transaction to a machine learning model or an algorithm, what happens if, you know, it doesn't screen something that should have, right? Who do you hold accountable for that? All right, that's our reporter, Dylan Tokar. And that is it for today's tech news briefing. For more tech stories, check out our website, wsj.com. I'm Julie Chang for The Wall Street Journal. Thanks for listening.